Hi, this is Brad Linder with Mobile Computing, and I want to take a brief look at a powerful application called Go Launcher, which is a replacement for the default Android home screen. Uh, we're looking at the Android 2.2 home screen here, which lets you have widgets at the top, such as time and weather, uh, shortcuts to different applications. Uh, you can launch the app drawer. And on the bottom, you've got this dock for um, the web browser and the phone, but it's not a very customizable dock and you can scroll through different home screens. So there's a lot you can do with it, but Go Launcher offers even more options. So here's the Go Launcher. You, first thing you'll notice is the dock has more than uh, three icons. So you can launch the app launcher, uh, phone contacts, text messaging, the web browser, but these are all customizable. If you want to change it, you press and hold, and you can change the shortcut, choose an icon, uh, or even a gesture that'll launch the application. You can also, oops, you can also scroll to the left and right and hit the plus button to add more icons. So let's hit plus, shortcut, application, uh, say I want Amazon uh, MP3, choose the icon, and there you go. So now I can launch Amazon MP3 from the dock um, no matter which home screen I'm viewing. So that's the first thing, is the home screens. Uh, the second thing you'll notice is that power widget is not a special widget. That's actually the default widget that comes with uh, Android 2.2 here. Power control. And you see it normally takes up the whole width of the screen. But you can tap and hold here and click resize and change the size. You don't want to go too small, it's going to be hard to hit everything, but you can make it take up the space of a single uh, icon there, or you can resize and make it larger. So that's a pretty nifty thing to do. Uh, in order to delete a widget, you can also tap, hold, and delete. The same goes uh, for many of these different icons. So say I want to customize the Gmail icon, I can replace the icon, rename it, delete it, or even uninstall it from the home screen, which is something that normally you'd have to go into the settings to do. If you want to move uh, widgets from one screen to another, you can just drag, and then you'll see a list of home screens. Oops. And then you drag it to the one that you want. And just now it's in the second one. I can scroll back and forth and there it is on the third one. You can also manage the different home screens by scrolling up, and now you see a list of the home screens. I can, uh, for example, move them around. So now this one's the one that's all the way to the right. I can add home screens, and you can add a pretty large number of them. Although the more you add, the slower your interface is likely to get. I haven't tested that extensively, but it tends to be true on most app launchers I've used. The app drawer has a uh, different interface. You can see here that you scroll from side to side, although you can customize it to scroll up and down as well. Um, it'll show you all applications, recent applications, or currently running applications. You can lock the list or alter the settings. And speaking of settings, I want to take a quick look here at some of the other settings. Um, that are available. So let's go to Preferences, and under Display Settings, you can tell it to hide the status bar. So now when we go back to the home screen, that status bar at the top of the screen will disappear. And now we just have the whole screen here to ourselves, no status bar. Now it's back. You can disable wallpaper scrolling. You can hide application names. So let me show you what that looks like. Right here you can see talk, Gmail, market, etc. in text underneath the uh, applications. These are all widgets. Um, so let's go back to preferences, display settings, application name, and when we go back, no text. You can change the size of the grid. So instead of the standard 4x4 four four, uh, spaces for uh, widgets and icons, you can do 5x4 five four or 5x5. Five five. Although I tend to find that gets a little bit too busy on the eyes, but if that's the sort of thing you like, you can do it. Uh, it changes the flip speed and so forth. Under screen settings, 
you can, this brings up the same menu that you can get to from the home screen. Dock settings lets you adjust the dock on the bottom. You can uh, determine how many docks you have, how many rows. You can um, change the style from default to transparent and Christmas style. Let's see what that looks like. So you see the icons have all sort of changed to Christmas style icons. Uh, I don't know how well you can see that here, but we've got a little Santa Claus and uh, so forth. Oops. Preferences, screen settings, that's not what I wanted, dock settings. Let's uh, change back to default. Uh, customize the background of the dock and so forth. In the app drawer, you can set it, as I mentioned, to scroll vertically instead of horizontally. You can change the background. You can change the grid size again to 4x5 or 5x5 or the default 4x4. Uh, you can show or hide the application names. And you can sort by alphabetical uh, or how recently they were installed. You can enable screen rotation. So now when I go back to the home screen, it will rotate, keeping the dock on the side here, but everything else rotates. Normally, if that's disabled, it works like the default Android home screen. And if you turn sideways, nothing. Okay, I think I might have done that wrong, but normally uh, that won't work. Operation, screen rotation. Uh, you can disable the uh, pop-up menus, change what happens when you press the home screen. So instead of showing the home screen, you can show a preview or the app drawer or notifications or other items. And you can also customize some of the gestures. So for example, uh, instead of swiping up to bring up this screen, you can perform other actions. So there you go. That's uh, That's just the tip of the iceberg, uh, which still took me seven minutes to go through, of what Go Launcher has to offer. It's uh, one of the more attractive home screen replacements that I've seen. Um, truly great if you really want to customize your home screen. Um, and it's available as a free download from the Android market. This is Brad Linder with Mobi Computing.